Welcome once again to our daily message from our Divine Compassionate Guides. And as always, I hope this message today will help heal and serve you in the most appropriate way. So today I have pulled from the Work Your Light Oracle cards. Now you might notice I've done a three card spread. Now each of these cards will be leading us through a different message as well as they are part of a different suit. So we'll find out what they kind of represent and then what their meaning is in the in there. <laughs> let's go with it. So take a deep breath in. As you exhale, let that go. And let's go to our first card here. This is kind of where we've been, where we're at, where we're coming from. Our Akasha. Your guidance is divinely guided. So we're coming from the state of our of being divinely guided, guided, and the Akashic records are part of the um, transmission cards. So those give us the messages. Then our next one of where we're kind of here at this point, soul family, call in your tribe. You don't have to do this alone. Very similar message to what we've received before. So this is kind of where we're at at this moment. And the soul, the soul family is part of the action card. So this is an action it's recommending that you do. And then our third of where we want to go is our warrior woman. Have you answered your deepest calling? So this is, this is an inquiry card, and that's going to lead us into where we're going. So let's go and dive right into our message today on what our guides have to tell us. So let's start here with our Akasha records. So we're really coming from that where we've gotten to this point has been divinely guided. The Akasha exists in the fifth dimension and the, li and the library of souls. And all soul contracts, history, gifts, lessons, and more exi exist here. We each have access to this information of the past, present, and future and can tap at it at any time. And so this one, if you're waiting for a sign to proceed... This is the card. You have likely been living out an important part of your soul's journey, and you are exactly where you need to be. This is exciting. So this is really saying you have been divinely guided. You are where you need to be at this moment. So we're coming to where we are going to make some action here, where we're going in this present moment. And it's our soul family. We are being called to call in our tribe. You don't have to do this alone. So very much like the message we had before about when we're in alignment, we will attract those people we need. This is very much the same idea. So with our soul family, it is a time to call the soul family, your support team, and the people who get you at that soul level, the people who are that same kind of weird as you. And if you haven't found them yet, this is your sign that they're close by. And in order to find them, you, but in order for them to find you and recognize you, it's important that you stop dimming your light and truly let yourself be seen. So this is one to find that soul, soul family, open up, stepping into it, which really leads us to where we want to go. The warrior woman, have you answered your deepest calling? Now, this is going to be a very important part of this message and where we're going at this point. So we've been divinely guided and we are going to find this tribe when we open ourselves up and we trust. But have you been following your deepest calling? Because this is all going to start aligning to opening us up to being, where do we need to go? What is our calling? And we're going to be supported though. That is the great thing. And we have been divinely guided. So it's just taking that next step right here into that warrior woman. You are here for a reason. You are being called to bravely, path, pay, bravely pave a path. You have answered your highest and deepest calling, have you? Living a heart and soul-led life is not fluffy and smooth sailing. Living a heart and soul life requires courage and triumphant over fear. So think of your fears as opportunities to expand, rather than things that are holding you hostage. And if you look at your fears in, in this light, they may not be as uncomfortable. And it's a sign that you are on the right track. So we're known that we're going to go for that courage. Have we been following our deepest calling? We need to, we need to answer that question. However, we do have the supports. We've been divinely guided. We are finding our soul led, those people that get us in that same weird. And that's going to help us to come to this point where we really go more in depthly of are we answering our soul calling? Or is there still this, this thing that's waiting to be heard deep down? So there's our message for today. 
as always, I recommend take a moment and contemplate it and see how this resonates with you. And until tomorrow, have a beautiful day. Namaste.